Have you ever stumbled upon a piece of wisdom so profound that it stopped you in your tracks, prompting a moment of reflection, a pause in the whirlwind of daily life? Welcome, dear viewers, to a journey through the corridors of wisdom, a voyage into the heart of life's most pressing questions and enchanting mysteries. Today, we embark on an exploration of 50 life lessons, a treasure trove of wisdom shared by Kevin Kelly, a sage who has delved deep into the essence of living a full and meaningful life. So sit back, relax, and let us unwrap these gifts of knowledge together, seeking the light they cast on our path. On my 68th birthday, I decided to give my young adult children some advice. I am not a frequent advice giver, but soon I was able to write down 68 bits. This journey began as a personal endeavor, a father's wish to guide his offspring through the complexities of life. What started as a modest collection of insights burgeoned into a rich compilation of 450 pieces of advice, each a beacon for those navigating the stormy seas of existence. Kelly's venture reminds us that wisdom is not a destination, but a journey, one that is enriched by sharing and expanding upon our experiences. The fact that you can't do something can be embarrassing. But if you are learning to do something that is admirable, there are only tiny baby steps between can't and learning. In our first lesson, Kelly invites us to redefine our relationship with failure and learning. This transformation from a stance of defeat to one of growth opens the door to limitless possibilities. Embracing the learning process is about acknowledging our current limitations while also recognizing the boundless potential that lies within our grasp. Half the skill of being educated is learning what you can ignore. In an era flooded with information, discernment becomes a critical skill. This wisdom encourages us to navigate the vast oceans of knowledge with purpose and precision seeking what truly enriches us while steering clear of the distractions that litter our path. It's about finding clarity in chaos, focusing our energies on what truly matters. The best way to learn anything is to try to teach what you know. This piece of advice reveals the symbiotic relationship between teaching and learning. When we share our knowledge, we not only illuminate the path for others, but also reinforce and expand our own understanding. Teaching is not just an act of giving, it's a powerful vehicle for personal growth and deeper comprehension. Curiosity is fatal to certainty. The more curious you are, the less certain you'll be. Here, Kelly champions the virtue of curiosity a force powerful enough to dismantle the walls of certainty. This lesson invites us to embrace the unknown, to revel in the questions rather than the answers. It is a call to remain open to the myriad possibilities that life offers, understanding that certainty is often a cloak that masks the beauty of discovery. The biggest lie we tell ourselves is, I don't need to write this down because I will remember it. Memory is a fickle friend, and Kelly's advice serves as a gentle reminder of the power of pen and paper. Documenting our thoughts, ideas, and experiences is not just about preservation. It's about clarity, about transforming fleeting thoughts into tangible insights that can guide us and others in the future. Expand your mind by thinking with your feet on a walk or with your hand in a notebook. Think outside your brain. This lesson encourages us to explore unconventional avenues of thought. It's an invitation to engage our whole being in the process of thinking, recognizing that inspiration and insight can stem from the most unexpected sources. Ignore what others may be thinking of you because they aren't thinking of you. In a world where we often find ourselves ensnared by the perceived judgments of others, this advice offers liberation. 
It's a call to shed the weight of external opinions and to embrace the freedom of authenticity. This lesson is about finding the courage to be true to ourselves, understanding that our worth is not dictated by the perceptions of others. To transcend the influence of your heroes, copy them shamelessly like a student until you get them out of your system. That is the way of all masters. Kelly's insight here delves into the journey of finding one's voice. It suggests that emulation is not merely imitation, but a stepping stone to originality. By walking in the footsteps of those we admire, we learn the rhythms of greatness, eventually forging our own path. Separate the processes of creating from improving. You can't write and edit or sculpt and polish or make and analyze at the same time. If you do, the editor stops the creator. While you invent, don't select. While you sketch, don't inspect. While you write the first draft, don't reflect. At the start, the creator mind must be unleashed from judgment. This advice speaks to the heart of the creative process, highlighting the importance of allowing creativity to flow unimpeded by the critical mind. It's about giving ourselves the permission to create freely, to bring forth into the world our unfiltered expressions, and only then to refine and polish. Perhaps the most counterintuitive truth of the universe is that the more you give to others, the more you'll get. Understanding this is the beginning of wisdom. In a world often guided by the principle of scarcity, Kelly reminds us of the abundance that flows from generosity. This lesson is not just about material giving, but about the richness that comes from sharing our time, knowledge, and energy with others. It's a testament to the interconnectedness of our lives and the profound impact of kindness and generosity. Don't measure your life with someone else's ruler. In this simple yet profound piece of advice, Kelly invites us to step away from the dangerous game of comparison. It's a reminder to define success and happiness on our own terms, recognizing that each journey is unique. This lesson is about embracing our individuality, celebrating our distinct paths, and finding fulfillment in our own achievements and experiences. Be frugal in all things except in your passions. Passion is the fuel that drives us, the fire that lights our way through the darkness of doubt and fear. Kelly's advice here is a call to invest deeply in what sets our souls ablaze, to prioritize our passions not as frivolous pursuits but as essential components of a fulfilling life. It's about recognizing that while resources may be finite, our capacity for passion is boundless. You are what you do, not what you say, not what you believe, not how you vote, but what you spend your time on. This lesson is a powerful reminder of the role of action in shaping our identity. Kelly suggests that our true selves are reflected not in our words, but in our deeds, in the habits and routines that fill our days. It's an invitation to live intentionally, to craft our lives through the choices we make and the actions we take. Don't ever work for someone you don't want to become. In this advice, Kelly touches upon the transformative power of work. It's a warning to choose our professional paths carefully, recognizing that the environments we immerse ourselves in and the people we surround ourselves with shape who we become. This lesson is about aligning our work with our values and aspirations, ensuring that our professional journeys contribute to our personal growth and fulfillment. Life gets better as you replace transactions with relationships. Here, Kelly underscores the importance of depth and connection in our interactions with others. It's a call to move beyond the superficial, to foster relationships that are rooted in mutual respect, understanding, and genuine care. 
This lesson reminds us that at the heart of a meaningful life are the connections we build with those around us. You don't have to attend every argument you are invited to. In a world where conflict often seems inevitable, Kelly's advice offers a path to peace. It's a reminder that we have the power to choose our battles, to engage in discussions that foster understanding and growth rather than division. This lesson is about the wisdom of restraint, the strength found in choosing dialogue over discord. Over the long term, the future is decided by optimists. To be an optimist, you don't have to ignore the multitude of problems we create. You just have to imagine how much our ability to solve problems improves. In our final lesson, Kelly champions the power of optimism and experimentation. It's an invitation to view the future not as a foregone conclusion, but as a canvas of possibilities, a realm shaped by our hopes, dreams, and actions. This lesson encourages us to approach life with a spirit of innovation, to embrace the unknown with open arms and a hopeful heart. As we reach the end of our journey through Kevin Kelly's 50 life lessons, we find ourselves enriched, enlightened, and perhaps a bit more equipped to navigate the winding paths of our own lives. These lessons, each a gem of wisdom, invite us to reflect, to challenge ourselves, and to grow in ways we might never have imagined. Thank you, dear viewers, for joining me on this voyage of discovery. May the insights we've shared today light your way, inspiring you to live with intention, curiosity, and an open heart. I invite you to share your thoughts, reflections, and the lessons that have touched your life in the comments below. Together, let us continue to explore, to learn, and to grow. Thank you, and until next time, take care.